Hi, it's the Iris Gypsy here to bring you your June 2017 general readings. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Welcome to any newcomers. Thank you for all the likes, shares, subscribes, your support and feedback and comments. Keep them coming. You guys are brilliant. Thank you. Uh, to my regular clients as well for your consistent feedback. And to those of you who continue to reach out for one-on-one -on -one readings, you guys keep me incredibly busy and I love it so much. And I'm very grateful uh, for the trust you place in me to interpret and intuit the cards. And if anyone out there is interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me and you haven't read with me before, you can click on the About or Description button on my YouTube channel's homepage, uh, which will give you some more information and also has my email address. Please feel free to email me directly at Maggie, M-A-G-G-I-E, the number one, McGuire, M-C-G-U-I-R-E, at gmail.com uh, for more information. Uh, current turnaround time for personal readings is anywhere from a few days upwards of two weeks, but I do readings full-time six days a week, so I'm usually able to get back with you pretty quickly and almost always schedule a reading within a two-week period of time. I do yearly overviews, love compatibility readings, uh, career work and finance, channeled messages, uh, so on, live or recorded. So if you're interested, send me an email. We'll go from there. Make sure to check your rising and your moon sign videos as well. They may resonate a little more predictably for you if this is your primary sun sign and it doesn't resonate so um, so predictably for you. These are general readings and there's many of you watching. so course they're not going to mean the same thing uh, to the same degree and intensity for everyone so check your rising and moon sign videos as well if you know them they will give you uh, additional insight and clarity and they may resonate a little more predictively for you so moving right along this video is for Pisces the water sign of Pisces for June 2017 let us see what this month of June has in store for the water sign of Pisces, our mercurial fluid fish, Pisces for June 2017. Okay, Pisces, we begin with the two of swords, followed by the five of wands. We have the hierophant, followed by the eight of swords, the five of swords, followed by the Nine of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups, followed by the Four of Wands. And from the bottom of the deck, your overall energy and advice is the Queen of Swords. I am still using the Gilded Tarot, and uh, since these are generals at the beginning of the month, eight cards, two cards for each week, with an additional ninth card for overall energy and guidance. So it, it's actually coming across pretty clearly. Uh, it looks like for a lot of you Pisces, you are involved in some kind of situation. I'm, I got family for some reason, some kind of conflict within a family system, but it could be within a specific relationship. This could also be uh, within a work environment as well. Some conflict and some difficulty in speaking out. So let's begin, Pisces. We find ourselves at the beginning of June 2017, although I am recording these in the last week of May, with the energy of the Two of Swords, followed by the Five of Wands. So swords, air energy, this is mental cerebral energy. The suit of swords is all about our words and our ideas and thoughts and how we communicate them. It's basically how we look at things, which comes from our belief systems and our perceptions. The Two of Swords is a card about being stuck, being at a crossroads, needing to make a decision, needing to do something, stand up, make a choice. Do I do this? Do I do that? But feeling really stuck. There could also be a bit of reluctance and willing reluctance and resistance in dealing with something as represented from the blindfold. You may feel like you don't know what to do within a situation, but it also could be a reluctance and a resistance to actually looking at a situation head on, dealing with it, and actually doing something or making a decision about it. Now, it's accompanied by the Five of Wands, which is fire energy that's the element which governs this suit it's a very active fluid fiery suit it's it's about creating and manifesting and building change and movement uh, it can often represent in creative or artistic endeavors or career building it's it's action oriented the five of wands is a card of conflict it can be a card of internal or external conflict sometimes this card can represent you know sporting activities working together with a group of people uh, in order to get better, uh, but it often represents conflict, which is precisely what I'm feeling uh, for a lot of you Pisces. I feel like for a lot of you, this combination of cards, 
This five of wands representing conflict, more like petty conflict squabbling, like the same arguments, things going around and around the same situation. It's not like a horrific knockdown drag out fight. You can see these are practice weapons are not out for blood. But there's no clear path, there's no clear resolution, nobody winning, nobody losing, but the same thing going on and on and on. So there's this sense at the end of May going into June. Again, since there's so many of you watching, it's a general video, the specifics will vary, but the energy fundamentally remains the same. Whether uh, The first thing I got was a family situation, a family system or dynamics. It could be within your own your own personal family, you know, partners, kids, or it could be your extended family. This could be a, a relationship, another specific relationship. It could be within a friendship, within a circle of friends, uh, a romantic relationship or a partner, and it could also be uh, in a workplace environment as well. There's this something going on, and I feel like it's been going on for a while, uh, but it may be particularly annoying right now, but there's a, a sense of I feel like some of you are just holding back on standing up and speaking out or standing up and saying your piece or actually standing up for yourself within this environment because I feel like you're bound by maybe convention or, or social social norms, you know, well, I can't do this because it wouldn't be proper or appropriate. Uh, it could be because of the way you were raised because next we have the energy of the Hierophant followed by the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords, more air energy here. <clears throat> the Eight of Swords is a card about feeling kind of held hostage, bound up, trapped. Uh, you can see she's completely ringed in by the, this, uh, this circle of swords. These swords can represent a belief system, uh, a lot of different ideas or thoughts or one particular belief system, feeling kind of trapped, held hostage by this idea, this perception you have, this way of operating. Uh, she's on her knees, which implies a sense of helplessness or perhaps feeling like a victim. She's blindfolded, which like in that two of swords can represent not knowing what to do, not knowing which way to go or how to get out of this. I can also represent an, un an unwillingness or resistance to kind of to stand up and take action and the chains which are bound around her wrists, but it's it's illusionary. The only thing that's actually keeping you trapped and held hostage, Pisces, is is this idea you have that you can't stand up and remove yourself from this situation or you can't stand up and speak out for yourself or for something else and, and whatever the situation is that this conflict is arising I feel like for a lot of you it's a group of people uh, somehow but for some of you it's going to be just a specific relationship but I feel like for a lot of you it's within a family system or a group of friends or a work environment but if she removed this, this, if she just twisted her wrist, these chains would fall off. They're not connected to anything or anyone. Nobody's holding her on her knees and she could remove the blindfold herself and see the reality of this situation, which is that the gaps between these swords are plenty wide enough for her to just get up and walk away. The only thing holding you back, Pisces, is this idea that you can't remove yourself from the situation or do something about this situation. For a lot of you, I feel like it's speaking up and going, look, enough, enough is enough. Whether it's about you or it's focused, this conflict is focused on or around someone else. The Eight of Swords is paired with the Hierophant. So this is a card of convention, tradition, walking the prescribed path, doing kind of the same thing everybody else is doing. It can represent organized religion, uh, uh, large corporations, institutions. It can represent marriage in some way uh, to, uh, you know, kind of doing the, the societal norm because that's what's expected of you. There is sometimes a certain sacrifice of individuality and self-expression to the higher font, but the payoff is that you get to belong to a group of people. For some of you, this could even be a religious situation, feeling kind of trapped within a specific organized religion or a cultural path that you follow. It's kind of like some of you, this could even be parents. It's like maybe you want to marry a certain person or choose a certain career path and uh, uh, it's not supported because, you know, uh, maybe you're, you're, you're coming from a, a cultural, traditional background where it's not, it, you would be varying from the path of what's normally done. Again, the specifics are going to vary, but it feels like kind of what's keeping you bound up is the sense of this foundation that you're not supposed to, but you can, Pisces, you really can. And it looks like a lot of you actually do. You have the courage to, to stand up and deal with this situation in whatever manner 
you need to do or to follow a choice that you've made even if nobody else supports it because next to that we have the combination of the five of swords followed by the nine of pentacles so the five of swords is a card of victory and triumph it is victory and triumph that comes at a cost and the question which accompanies the five of swords is is it worth it and i mean for some of you it's going to be yes for some of you it's going to be no this man has just finished a, a battle a challenge uh you know a conflict of some kind and he's he's obviously the victor he's gathered up his his opponents or, or enemy swords and he's holding his own aloft in victory but it's still kind of a a, a murky bleak looking card he looks tired worn out exhausted he's bleeding from a little on his forehead sometimes uh, these people on the ground behind him can represent that it's a victory which comes at the cost of personal relationships uh, maybe perhaps staying true to yourself in this situation Pisces may cause you uh, it may come at the cost of a personal relationship or or disapproval or conflict within a group of people be it friends or a family system or uh, you know a romantic partner uh, it, it does look like it does look like standing up for yourself or really staying true to yourself. Um, it looks like this is a battle, which is actually a battle. It's a challenge. Uh, and for some of you, it may create distance between you and other people um, or even, even temporary separation. Uh, because this is about staying true to yourself. It's about honoring yourself and staying true to what you feel is right uh, in this situation, what you feel is right maybe for a personal decision for yourself. That Five of Swords is paired with the Nine of Pentacles. Here we have Earth Energy, which is the element which governs Pentacles, and it's an earthy energy, and it often manifests in in uh in the earthly tangible concrete day-to-day -day world we live in in things we can see and touch and feel things like money finance property career uh, assets tangible things the nine of pentacles is a card of it can be a card of abundance and prosperity in terms of financial and material wealth and security uh, it's a card of independence and, and self-empowerment and self-sufficiency because everything this woman is enjoying she's surrounded by these things which imply abundance or luxury nobody has handed these things to her everything she's enjoying including the beautiful gown she's wearing uh, everything that she's surrounded by she has worked for herself she's worked long and hard to build up this good solid stable foundation for herself perhaps financial material material education wise uh, it could even be uh, uh, staying single when her parents or her family wants her to get married whatever it is uh, this is a card of being able to stand on your own two feet whether you're alone or with somebody else it doesn't matter the the energy is still the same self-empowerment independent self-sufficiency a, se a sense of grounded rooted prosperous abundance within yourself and also your environment so Again, the story is going to vary a lot of different ways. Um, I get that somebody's breaking out of a family system or making a personal choice in a family system. I got education or a career path for one and then marriage for for maybe some some other of you Pisces out there. Maybe you've made the decision not to marry somebody that you were expected to marry or they wanted you to marry, chosen a career path that varied from what everybody else in your family is doing or wanted for you. And it looks like this is a battle that a, a lot of you chose to fight. And it, it caught, maybe the cost was quite high, but the payoff is that you, you stayed true to yourself. You honored, um, you know, you're in alignment with yourself and you honored something that felt very, feels very, very important to you. And in the end, it works out all right because it, better than that it works out quite well um, because we we end uh, at or towards the end of June 2017 with a beautiful combination of cards we have the ten of cups paired with the four of wands I just got for some of you there's conflict with parents or in-laws outside of your own family and home environment that was kind of interesting Perhaps you've made the decision to move out of a parent's home. Perhaps you and a mate or you and your partner have been living at home or within a family system. You chose to, to separate yourself in some way. The Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands. So Cups is water energy. This energy uh, manifests in the emotional landscape uh, and relationship aspect of our life. It's about our feelings and, and all of our different types of relationships and how we relate to people. Ten to represent the end of cycle, coming full circle, the full achievement of something. So the Ten of Cups would represent 
uh, happiness, fulfillment, contentment, uh, that sense of homecoming where everything feels right, that place that you come home to at the end of the day where you can kick your shoes off and, and everything just fits, everything just feels right. There's also a strong sense of, of home harmony and balance and peace. This is also sometimes referred to as the, the happy home card, happily ever after. It can be marriage, children, you know, home blessings, that sort of thing, peace and harmony. And it's also paired with the Four of Wands, which is another kind of a happy home card. It's a celebratory card. It can actually represent a celebratory event. It could be that some of you are getting married. Um, I mean, June is one of the wedding months. Some of you have made the decision to go ahead and get married. Uh, maybe you've married, you've chosen to marry somebody that your family doesn't approve of it, your friends don't approve of, or there's been some conflict about it. Uh, but it looks like for those of you who go ahead and decide to, you know, to, to follow your heart, to follow what you feel is true to yourself, I feel like there's a lot of peace and harmony and happiness and joy and blessings in that uh, as well. This could also represent childbirth or adoption, you know, welcoming a new child, new member of the family. Uh, Yeah, a variety of different stories here. But the fundamental energy is about staying true to yourself, being in alignment with yourself, whatever you think is right in this situation or what it is that you want, choices that you're making that you may not be getting the support uh, that you would prefer to get. In fact, you may be getting, you know, there may be naysayers and, and a lot of disapproval, but staying true to yourself is what results in this, this happiness and this joy and this celebration, this celebratory energy at the end of the month. And you're being, and, and your overall energy is the queen of swords. Queens and kings represent individuals who've reached the mastery of their suit. Swords is, you know, it's words, ideas, communication, belief system, but it's also about truth, clarity, illumination. The queen of swords does not mince words. She tells it exactly like it is. She's all about staying true to herself and telling the truth and not veering off from the path and doing exactly what she knows to be true and right and good, particularly for herself. So overall energy, um, uh, Stay in alignment with yourself, Pisces. Whatever this situation is, if it's a conflict within a group of people, I feel like for a lot of you, it's about a personal choice that you've made, a path that you've chosen that isn't being supported. And in fact, some people may be trying to talk you out of it. But your happiness and your joy and your sense of wholeness and homecoming uh, is going to come from staying true to yourself. So Pisces, please do that. I know that such conflicts can be difficult uh, uh, for you and for what well for everybody but for water signs in general tend to be sometimes a little more emotionally sensitive to the disapproval of people around them particularly if it's people they truly care about so it, it doesn't look like uh, a path free from bumps or rocks but it does look like it's worth it so stay true to yourself um, tell the truth uh, well, just stay with your truth, Pisces. So Pisces, that pretty much wraps up your June 2017 general readings. I hope you have enjoyed them. I am going to be continuing with those love snapshots, so they should be coming out within a few days or a week or so uh, since I am doing these a little bit early. And again, if any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can click on that little about or description button on my YouTube channel's homepage, uh, which has more information in my email address. And please feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one, mcguire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to work with you. I will see you all again uh, in a a uh, few days, maybe about a week for those love snapshots. And until then, Pisces, as always, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life. Thanks so much, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.